That's right. So any of these apostolic crooks That's right. and Pentecostal butchers yeah. try to bring Bible and make it a command. Right. They give the bishop your property. Yeah. Or the church your property. That's right. They're liars. That's right. Your fraud. That's right. Your pulpit predator. That's right. Your money loving heathen. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 14. Notice the book of Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 14. Chapter 14. And verse 9. Verse 9. A covetous man's eye. A covetous man's eye. Is not satisfied. Is not satisfied. With his portion. With this portion. And the iniquity of the wicked. And the iniquity of the wicked. Drieth up his soul. It'll dry up your soul. That's right. He ain't satisfied you giving him a little bit. No. He want it all. Want it all. So you sign your bank account over to him. That's right. Your house. Your car. Because he make you believe if you do this. That's right. God will bless you. Yeah. If you do it. Let it be on your own free will. That's right. And if he's a false prophet, don't do it at all. <laughs> Amen. Let him get a job and go to work. Yeah. Or let him die hungry and go to hell. That's right. That's right. That's right. Happy New Year, viewers. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let me go back to the marketplace. Back in the book of St. Mark, chapter 12, and at verse 40. Let's finish this up because this is sound, sound doctrine. doctrine. I mean, sound, firm. This is an eye-opening message. Yes, it is. Give you a broader perspective of how these religious fakers work. That's right. That's right. There's a whole lot of you that are watching me now. Yeah. You may be mad, but oh, yeah. a lot of you, your mother, your father, your grandparents, their house is gone. That's right. Their farm is gone. Yeah. I've dealt with cases where children had to live in a shelter. Mm. Well, these rotten Cadillac driving dogs, the preachers already have plenty. That's, that's true. That's true. I have helped families to get lawyers. You even got my lawyer. Lord. Church lawyer. To try to fight for families. My Lord. Because mothers and fathers of these rotten religions, and these were apostolic people, mm. baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and seek a Messiah. <laughs> seek, seek a Messiah. That's right. Look, Mahaya. That's right. Children were living in shelters. Yeah. Mm. And here these pulpit bums had several properties that were their own. Yeah. Took the house, took the bank account. Mm. Made the mother and the husband sign. My Lord. They both was diagnosed with cancer. And he mm. prayed upon their sickness. Mm. He used it to his advantage. My Lord, my Lord. And his argument was, the children are not saved. And God don't want sinners to have nothing. God ain't never said that. Never said that. Never said that. The company you work for is owned by sinners. The that's truck right. you drive for that company, that's a sinner's truck. That's right. When you pull up to the weighing station, a sinner in there. You can speak in tongue all you want. When you break the speed limit, here come a sinner trooper. Woo, 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 woo. He get out. License and registration, please. <laughs> what you gonna tell him? Oh, I'm a, you're a sinner. I don't have to give you nothing. I believe in Jesus. Ma'am, you better stay in the car. You're kind of losing your mind here. <laughs> A lot of us go overboard, overboard with church. That's right. And when you go overboard with church, you're totally out of God's will. Oh, yeah. Hear this. Which devour widows' houses. 
So they devoured the, this family. Yeah. The kids was in a shelter. Lord have mercy. And all the way I found out about it, they outreached me. Bishop took their house. By the time I found out, the bishop then took the house, remodeled it, and had it rented out to some of his church members. <laughs> oh, Lord. Kids in a shelter. Mm. You wonder why sinners don't respect church? You would be surprised of the amount of dirt that preachers have done to people, families, all in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's why so many millions of viewers respect this program. A lot of them don't like the way I sound, but they know it ain't the junk they're used to. That's right. I'm not after nothing you own. Yeah. In fact, I don't care what you own. I don't care. I want your soul. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. Are you listening to what I'm talking? That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Many brothers and sisters at First Church have met with me on the give their property over to the church. The first thing I ask them, you got kids? Yeah. Many of them say, yeah, Pastor Jennings, I got kids and whatnot, but then none of them is saved. I said, okay. But I will not have my name blackened. That's right. Nor would I have your children taking me to court after you're dead. Nor would I look like I'm some type of greedy thief. Right. Even though you may want to leave it justifiably and legally. I will not have myself sitting in court. I will feel like a fool yeah. arguing with your family, save or not save, over a house they were raised in. That's right. All things are lawful yeah. unto me, but all things not is not expedient. expedient. I won't let my good be evil spoken of. That's right. And from that perspective, I tell them, that's all right. That's right. We have turned down thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of property. Only because I asked them, do you have kids? Yeah. The moment they say yes, I had countless of people. I mean, they say, well, you can do whatever you want with the property, Pastor Jenny. Some wanted to leave it to me personally. I said, no, you can leave it to the church. Yeah. And there's many. Some don't have no kids. Well, I ain't got no fight then. That's right. I ain't got to worry about nobody taking me to court. That's right. But I will not have my, land, my, my name blackened. Yeah. I can't see myself fighting with your daughter. Right. That's right. I can't see myself fighting with your son. Yeah. Even if you're an alcoholic, I bet when it's time to go to court, he's going to be sober that day. <laughs> he's going to be sober that day. He gonna dry up and dry out. Amen. And be all suited down. He gonna be so he gonna get a haircut and be intelligent. <laughs> That's right. Are you getting the old man? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. That's right. I'm glad that God made the truth of God so distinguished until you can't get it mixed up with nothing out here. That's I, right. I, I, you have no idea how happy I am about this. Yeah. Read quick, Williams. Which devour widows' houses. They devour widows' houses. And for a pretense make long prayers. They, their prayers is long. These shall... But wait, wait, wait. wait. Mm -hmm. for, their prayers is long, but how was it done? For a pretense. They don't mean it. It's an they act. don't mean it. It's an act. That's right. You call Bishop Chicken Wing and Assistant Pastor Pork Chop <laughs> and District Elder Drumstick. And all three of them come with bottles of oil praying for your mama. That's true. That's true. All come with the preacher's voice. 
dear wise and heavenly father. <laughs> That's right. Look down upon Mother Cunningham. <laughs> Make long prayers. <laughs> Am I right, folks? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Your mama and your daddy. Yeah. And the hospital viewers, sick. Sick. And Mo, Larry, and Curly. <laughs> That's right. These religious stooges yeah. don't care about your daddy, don't care about your mama. Don't care. Another case I had where the bishop and two elders went to pray for one of the old mothers of the church and already had papers drawn oh, my Lord. and came to the hospital to get her signature. My Lord. They didn't get it because the sinner daughter cussed them all out. <laughs> they wait till they did their stage prayer. Yeah. And the mm -hmm. daughter was right there looking. Brother, I tell you, when people call me, I hear all kind of things. <laughs> she knew they was up to something. Because when she called me and told me about it, she said, Pastor Jenner, was I wrong? She said, I knew I was wrong for cussing. <laughs> you know, was I wrong for throwing them out? I said, no, you should have found something. Yeah. And drove them out like Jesus did. That's right. But this how low these Hello. dogs are. Oh, yeah. And again, these fellas were Pentecostal. Mm. Came with papers already drawn. Not even the mother knew it, who was sick. Mm. But her daughter, militant, and was a sinner, and had bad experiences from false churches. Yeah. But the three the, the stooges, they didn't know it. These <laughs> fellas didn't know it. Right. So they went through the ritual, and the Bible said for a pretense. For a pretense, make long prayers. They came there, big old bottle of oil, pouring it on their mother's head, wetting up her pillow. <laughs> she said, Pastor Jennings, my mother's face was shining. I had to wipe it off with a towel. Ah. And she said, I asked him, do y'all got to use that much oil? My Lord. She told me, Pastor Jenny, you're the only man I listen to. She gave me a testimony. She said, I lost all confidence in churches. She said, but when I heard you and was listening to the Truth of God program, it gave me confidence in church all over again. Wonderful. And that's a testimony that many had. Amen. This message has restored lost confidence. Oh, yeah. So after the act of prayer was over, <laughs> the head stooge ripped up this contract, about five pages. Mm. So she said, she asked him, what is this? And they told the wrong thing to the wrong daughter. Mm. Hey, Bishop said, well, this, this is not concerning you. Uh, this is between God people. Mm. She said, what the? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
the French fries. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. she did. You coming to steal somebody's property. Yeah. And then you going to tell their daughter? Daughters. Daughters. Who's the guardian of her mama? Yeah. This ain't got nothing to do with you. You try to put her beneath you. Mm. And that's the way they tried to do her. She cussed him out. <laughs> Snatched the paper and tore it up. And threw the ink pen at him. Oh, Lord. And I thought the conversation was over. She said, one more thing, Pastor Dennis. You know, because when I cussed him out, they got mad. And I was the only girl in there. And, you know, and they was men. And they try to, like they're going to intimidate me. I mm. said, so what you do? She said, I went to my pocketbook. 